We have the Jackson Pro Marty Friedman Cracked Mirror. This thing's got two volumes, two tones, passive EMG Marty Friedman pickups, and just a three-way toggle switch. We're going to check out the bridge, middle position, and neck on distortion leads and cleans.
Okay, so I mentioned on a previous video that I'm disappointed in Jackson making pro models now in China. I also did mention in that same video that I might bite the bullet and actually order the Marty Friedman model because I'm a huge Marty Friedman fan. I've never had one of his guitars. It's very hard to get the Kelly, so I thought I'd, I'd at least try getting this. I'm also a fan of Kiss, like Marty is, so he did this cracked mirror in tribute to Paul Stanley. So, I enjoy it for both those reasons. At least, this guitar is very different than something I own normally. In fact, I haven't owned a 22 fret guitar in years. I don't like them, for the most part. I really don't. I get mad when I want to play over there and I can't because fretboard stops me. I really don't like that, but this is his guitar. I thought I'd at least just get used to it. I have plenty of other guitars that are 24 frets, so I think it won't hurt just having one. I don't have these EMGs. These are very, these are very unique EMGs. They're passive and they're spec to Marty Friedman. So I like that there's no battery. They're very different. They're going to give out a way different sound than I'm used to. And I definitely noticed on the cleans that this, this bridge pickup is very distorted. So it's not the best for cleans, which I don't think most DMGs are for the most part. But it seemed to be okay when you put it in the middle position or even just use the neck pickup for clean. This is made just to shred. It sounds good for rhythm too. Jackson used to use what looked like different plies of binding and then they put it on. And it was like a cream or almost a hint of yellow binding. And I really like it. You can still see it on the Japanese models and in some of the USA models. This stuff... It just looks cheap. And again, it semi looks like they just put the dots on with a Sharpie. But it's installed well. It looks like they did a great job, even on the headstock. I just am not a fan of that binding, but I knew that was going to happen. I will say this, though. The, the abalone on this, it, it is so convincing. Like, it had me going there for a second, because I was like, how did they cut the abalone to be so round without cracking all over it. And it's actually some sort of pearloid stuff. When you really look at it, it's very convincing. Like if I really just didn't look at it enough, 
I, I think that this is actually abalone. This is a really nice design. This is really why I bought the guitars, mostly for looks, also for what it is. It's a Marty Friedman model. And at least it sounds different. So I, it justified me paying for it. Just solid. It just seems like it's going to have its resonance there. This thing's just fun to play. I wouldn't... I wouldn't get this if it was like my only guitar or whatever. This is just a fun thing to have. And the price is like max. So I didn't pay the full 1200 I got a promotional coupon. So I use that. And it, it takes the bite out of it on the price for this. There's some guitars I'd rather spend 1200 on. This one... Is just max on that it's it's mostly just a looker I just appreciate that Jackson was able to mass produce this without just only giving it to Marty and the public couldn't have something like this granted yes it's a pro model made in China it's me it's meant for shredding <laughs>